Long before the reign of Steve Harvey, Richard Dawson was the face of Family Feud, but the show's first host had a nasty habit that, survey says, definitely wouldn't fly today. Family Feud, everyone's favorite show about predicting survey results, first aired on ABC in 1976. Since then, thousands of episodes have been broadcast, and it has appeared in numerous incarnations with several beloved hosts. For many of the show's older fans, it's impossible to hear the name of the show or its catchy theme song without conjuring the image of the one and only Richard Dawson. Dawson fronted the show between 1976 and 1985, during which Feud became the top daytime TV show in the United States. Dawson's charm was legendary. The host came to prominence as an actor on Hogan's Heroes before proving his improvisational abilities as a regular panelist on the game show Match Game. Famously, Dawson had a proclivity for kissing women on Family Feud, often fully on the mouth. The idea that a game show host would kiss every female contestant on the lips would be abhorrent to audiences in this day and age, but Dawson's defenders would likely write off his kisses as playful products of the time in which the show aired. But to say that the actor's stint as the kissing bandit was condoned by all viewers of Family Feud would be false. Those who made the show had their reservations. Speaking to the Television Academy in 2010, Dawson said he began the habit of kissing female contestants on Family Feud early in the run after one woman struggled with nerves and couldn't think of an answer. Dawson, who has said he kissed them for luck as his mother did to him, decided that a peck on the cheek would help calm the woman down. He claimed that in the next moment she was able to pluck the correct answer from the air. From here on out, kissing became Dawson's signature. No, I'm leveling with you. That's the most passionate kissing. We, I usually kiss for luck, but oh, I got involved a couple of times there. Some viewers reportedly found the habit a bit gross, and according to Entertainment Weekly, sponsors were uncomfortable with the host kissing so many women and encouraged him to stop. However, Dawson reportedly invited viewers to vote on whether they liked him kissing contestants, and the results overwhelmingly said that they did. A survey of the contestants themselves suggested that they also approved, as written in Hogan's Heroes, The Unofficial Companion. The 2023 book Outrageous, a history of showbiz and the culture wars by Cliff Nesteroff, highlights that some viewers, particularly those in the medical field, believed that Dawson's behavior constituted a health risk. One purported physician wrote in a letter to the Philadelphia Daily News, the diseases that could be transmitted by promiscuous kissing are too long and too loathsome to recount here. Does Dawson or the producers take any caution to prevent infection? Are none of them informed? As Nesteroff's book also reveals, the show did take precautions, precautions that would frankly be unthinkable today. It turns out that the breakout star of Family Feud might have also had some reservations about his on-screen kissing habit. As revealed in Outrageous, Richard Dawson's team was reportedly concerned that kissing hundreds of pairs of strangers' lips each year posed a risk of contracting facial herpes the disease that causes cold sores. Cliff Nesteroff alleges that as a result of such concerns, contestants were systematically given herpes tests by members of the production crew. According to his book, for which he interviewed former contestants of the show who appeared during Dawson's tenure, the staff would call contestants together backstage before shooting. A medical professional would examine their lips and swab their mouths to minimize the chances that the host might be infected by one of his countless kissing partners. Whether the precautions were ultimately successful has not been reported. However, Dawson continued to defend his signature smooches and later interviews before his death in 2012. According to CBC, executive producer Howard Felsher suggested that Dawson kissed around 20,000 women over the course of his career. 